So today's a bit of a different video. Um, I'm actually going to be working on my ute because uh, it's stuffed. So I've got the nav in here today. Um, essentially what I'm going to do is I need to change the rock cover gasket because as you can see it is pissing out oil. While I'm doing the rock cover gasket I'm just going to do an oil change as well. So it's got a genuine Nissan oil filter. Um, that's the part number there. And then also got the rock cover gasket from Nissan and that's the part number there. So essentially what I'm going to be doing is the glow plugs and the glow plug um, kind of the glow plug um, One eternity later Covers I guess um, That just came with the kit so I might as well do them Essentially what happened with the ute was in the mornings it's basically just blowing smoke um, White smoke out the exhaust, struggling to start um, So the first thing I did was Check the battery voltage, so that was like 12.9, which is fine, because around 12.8 is pretty good. Um, after that, I checked the alternator. The alternator was like 14.1 or something, 14, so that's also fine, so it wasn't that. That's probably the glow plugs. So, I just got these ones, just Bosch replacement glow plugs, they're like 28 bucks each from super cheap. Um, so, just disconnect the battery. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is, on this bracket, there's one bolt there, um, one bolt there, and then one bolt here. You're gonna take those off, and then you're also gonna take this back bolt off, take these three off. There's also this bracket you're gonna take off in here just with one bolt, um, but you should undo that first before you do back three, um, otherwise this one's just a little bit more difficult. So after you have those bolts off, um, essentially you're going to do disconnect this. Um, you're also going to disconnect um, the power going into the glow plugs um, and take off the rail. Um, and then after that, you're just going to uh, loosen one of the hose clamps and then it's going to come off from here and come off from down there as well. So you got to loosen that hose clamp as well. So essentially, when you've got that all loose, this should all just slide up, just like that. Don't lose your hose clamp. And I'm just gonna tuck it to the side for now. So you just have to take um, the other three to hold the rail on. Um, and then after that, just the breather at the back, and then we'll start undoing all the bolts. Just like that, the rail should pop off. There. And also, don't forget your gasket that goes on here later on. We're gonna put that back on. So, I'm just gonna grab this breather back here as well. Come straight off. So, essentially, now these are just uh, 12 mils all the way around. Um, once we take all those off, you just have to wriggle the cover underneath these two heater hoses. Um, you should put it at a certain angle, it will eventually come out, I promise. Um, then we're all good to go. Smaller ratchet. So it gets caught on this seal back here. Bloody having a bull bar, tell you what, it's a good workbench. Alright, so essentially what I've gone and done is just scrape, tried to scrape off as much as I can. Um, all the gasket goo kind of stuff, there's still some there. Um, I'm gonna try a little bit more just to get it off. Essentially, you just wanna scrape it off with something plastic, preferably not metal because you don't wanna actually scratch the head. Um, make sure it's flat so the rubber gasket has something to like bond to um, when you do put it back on. And I just clean the outside, well I'm going to clean the outside just with some brake cleaner as well, it's really lightly. Um, and then you can see on the actual cover, 
I've put the gasket in and it should sit in pretty firmly. It shouldn't like wobble or anything like that. It should be quite a uh, tight fit. I just pressed it all the way around. Um, while I'm here, I'm gonna replace the glow plugs as well. So what I've done, I've just taken out all of the um, glow plug covers. Um, essentially, they're just those things here. I just used a hammer and a um, screwdriver and just quickly hit them with that and then they eventually loosened and you can just unscrew them with your hand. And then I'm gonna put these glow plugs I just test fitted in, they're just Bosch ones. Um, and they should be all good, but I'm gonna install the cover uh, without the glow plugs in the engine, um, just to make it easier just to get it all over the heating hoses and all the other crap over here. Um, and then after that, it should go back on and we'll just we'll put the glow plugs in first and then screw the plugs back in and we should be sweet. So just a quick comparison with the glow plugs. This is one I pulled out. You can see that the tip of it like cracked and fallen off, which is uh, not too good. Um, and then these are the new ones and yeah, there's actually stuff there, but yeah, so that definitely need to be changed because I'm pretty sure they're the original ones and this car is like 220,000 Ks. So yeah, what I'm going to do, I have this, uh, high temp gasket maker, RTV, whatever you want to call it, silicon. Um, essentially where you want to put it is just on that little seam there, as you can see where the original one is and same on the other side, it's just where there's two different parts of metal. So you can see the gaps. Just want to smear it along here. And on this other side, same bit, smear it along there. So I've put the cover back on, um, applied the RTV to both sides here and here. You can see it's squeezing out a little bit there. That's fine, you can probably just wipe it off. I'm just gonna leave it, it's not, not worrying me. Um, so when putting the rocker cover onto the actual head and bolting it down, this is the pattern from the man you wanna do. So you probably wanna pause your screen now. They're only plastic covers. Um, you don't want to do it too, too tight. I think it's like 10 to a 12 or newton meters, wherever it is. Um, so look, I just did it tight enough so that it's tight, but it's not going to break the plastic. What I'm going to do now is put my glow plugs in. Um, it's just a 12 mil um, deep socket. And then after that, put my glow plug covers on. Um, just use a screwdriver and a hammer to um, tighten them down all the way. And then after that, we'll just reassemble everything. We should be sweet. So I'll put the glow plugs in. Um, they're all tightened up now. I'm just starting to put these um, glow plug seals on. Um, when you put it in, you basically just press it in, but you gotta make sure that these silver little uh, O-rings are on before you press it in. Otherwise, oil could leak through and you don't wanna do this job twice. So put it in and just press down a little bit and it should just slide in. And then you just keep turning it until it gets hand tight. And then after that, I just get a hammer and a screwdriver and just tap it a little bit more, just to make sure it's tight, but you don't want to do it too much. Otherwise it'll break the seal because I've done that before. And so I'm replacing them. Um, so yeah. So essentially now you just do the opposite of when we took it apart. One thing to note is that the gasket that goes between the intake here, um, there's this little clip on it and it has to be on the right hand side. So if you're facing the engine, it's gonna be right there. Um, that's just so that you know, you don't put the gasket on backwards. So basically I just took a wire brush and I'm um, just cleaned it up a little bit. After you've done that, you're just gonna pop it back on. And then I'll just start from the back and work my way forward. On the last one, what you have to remember is that there's this little um, wire for power. You have to put on first before you can put your nut on. So that kind of just like slips under. And you need your bolt. Slip your gasket in. Make sure the tab of the gasket is facing towards this pipe, towards the inside of the car. And you're just going to put your three bolts back in. And they're just putting in this bolt back here for the bracket. And then now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in your one bolt, your two bolt, and your three bolt. And then I'll secure this bracket together. And then your last bolt is just for this bracket just to go in there. So now essentially I'm just gonna put the turbo side on. Um, literally as easy as 
putting your hose clamp on, tucking it in, and then pressing so that it fits. Just like that, and you can see the tab is out here. The tab's on the outside that just holds it together. Plug your plug back in, and then all you're gonna do is tighten down this hose clamp and tighten down this hose clamp. When you tighten it down, just make sure it's in a good place if you ever need to undo it again, it's easy. Um, so I'm just gonna match you with that one. This one, I'm gonna put it sticking out this way a little bit so I don't have to touch the turbo if I need to do it when the car's hot or anything like that, and then you're all good. Last thing to do is just pop this hose back on. So now that all the rock cover stuff's done, I'm um, just gonna clean up the oil um, on top of the turbo. Um, and then I'm gonna change the filter for the oil, uh, put some plug back in. So just a quick comparison, that's the brand new filter and that's the one that was in it absolutely hammered so well needed because that's for sure <laughs>